Hello and welcome to the highlights of the European Central Bank's eighth annual forum on central banking. The pandemic, climate change, inequality, inflation, zombie firms. The forum was not short of big topics, nor was it short of ideas of how policymakers can change the way they work in order to adapt to a landscape that has shifted profoundly. The forum is the first since the ECB concluded its strategy review, the first in 20 years earlier this year. Over the course of the two days, leading academics and officials gave their take on how to meet the review's goals, all while keeping prices under control. We've selected some of the highlights for you. Despite the improvements that we've seen, we do remain far from normal. The economy is back from the brink, but not completely out of the woods. After a highly unusual recession, the euro area is going through a highly atypical recovery. We were reminded that despite zombification entering common usage after Japan's lost decade, the features this time around are very different. Fabio Panetta, explained why policymakers need to keep a close eye on corporate bankruptcies. We heard senior academics slay sacred cows of central banking. Sure, yes, no, it was wonderful to listen to uh, Charles who said we should just, effectively, that we should throw out all the frameworks that we have. And then Francesca who said, well, we should embrace them even more than we are currently doing. We heard more about how policymakers will have to incorporate climate change into the decision-making process. Central banks do have an obligation to consider uh, the risk that climate change poses to our economies and act in accordance with our individual mandates. For the policy panel on day two, we heard from four of the world's leading central bankers. They told us what it had been like doing their jobs over the past 18 months and what will come next. For those of you who want to see more, check out the ECB website's YouTube page. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.